John Burkow has been banned from the House of Commons for bullying. This is from Wednesday's Independent, Andrew, and I can't say I'm... I'm uh, you're not surprised? I'm not surprised, and, I, and gives I'm, off that I'm ever of... so slightly delighted. Oh, I've got well, to say, to say well there will be an element of schadenfreude yes. here, since he was obviously a very partisan speaker when it came to Brexit. But, I mean, here we have Burkow, who um, obviously was accused of being a serial bully. There have been se 21 separate allegations uh, against him made by three complainants. All of them have been upheld. It's quite a damning report, mm. calling him a serial bully. He's got a lifetime ban uh, for holding a parliamentary pass as a result of this. Um, and the way that some of the things were described, verbal abuse, displays of anger, undermining behaviour and uh, this kind of thing. He's built for did undermining, you... to be fair. Yeah, but you, did... <laughs> you wonder, though, is he really this kind of Malcolm Tucker kind of... Uh, figure, and, or is it just something from a he's different a, age? He's a you know, pompous it's... twit, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. Pom pompous I... is the word for him. But he just I... loves the sound of his own voice and, and loves to have an impact on any sort of group he's in, I think. Well, I would imagine that, that within the cut and thrust of Parliament, there are some quite aggressive personalities that you have to sort of mm. navigate. But look, I don't know what happened. I've got absolutely no idea. He's also been called in this report a, a serial liar. Uh, but it's quite interesting because when they said they're taking away his parliamentary pass, his response was, well, the panel have said... I should be denied a parliamentary pass, which I never applied for and do not want. And he's very much like, well, I didn't want it anyway. It's very kind of truculent, isn't it? It's a bit yeah, it's yeah. quite childish. It's, it's what a kid poorly judged, to be honest. Yeah, that, isn't it? it? Really? What do you think, Steve? Uh, I like that second um, point because that yeah. means like Aesop can sit down for a while. We've got a, we've got a new example. <laughs> Burkhoff's pass. <Yeah. laughs> but look, even if the the motivating factor for some of this is you know retribution, revenge, whatever disgruntled thing causes it, the key would be if you want to make sure no one can ever do you for bullying, don't bully. I think there is a generational mm. part to this. There's certainly an attitudinal part to this. That you think that shouting at someone shows that you're passionately doing your job, that attitude needs to change. There's no reason. No, and it sounds like there were some quite specific descriptions of how the bullying manifested. They were like imitating people's yeah, mimicking. voices. Mimicking. Mimicking. Yeah. That is nasty and cruel. If it's, I mean, it can be if, if it's done in good I mean, it can right. be as a jest. It can kind of, be but... fun, but it's, it's quite clear that these people didn't experience it that way, and that is actually quite... Mm. I mean, I would agree with Steve. That I, just, I think in the workplace there's no excuse. I've never no. raised my voice at anyone in the world. I don't see why you would. I don't see why it gets anything done. Um, but it is a generational thing. I've worked for people mm. who just scream their heads off. I've worked in a kitchen, and believe me, the chefs, they would let rip. It's very scary, actually. Yeah. They're armed. They've got I'd like things. to see him uh, do take over from Gordon Ramsay. That would be a, a, an interesting... Well, it would work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Burkow's kitchen disaster. <laughs>